After Tsar Nicholas and his family were killed by Bolsheviks in 1917, rumors persisted that one of his daughters, Anastasia, had somehow escaped and was still alive. A few years later, in the early 1920s, several women began claiming they were the young Grand Duchess, the most famous of whom was the impostor Anne Anderson. Using a variation on the story behind Anderson's claim, a French writer named Marcel Moret crafted a play which opened on Broadway in late 1954 and which became a successful film with Ingrid Bergman and Yul Brynner two years later. In 1997, Fox animator Don Bluth, in competition with Disney's series of hits, went back to the well with a new musicalized version featuring songs by the Broadway team of Lynn Ahrens and Stephen Flaherty. And thus, it was inevitable, as with Disney, that Anastasia would eventually be transferred to the live stage, and it opened on Broadway in April 2017, and can now be seen on tour at the Golden Gate Theater through September 29th. The music and lyrics by Ahrens and Flaherty eschews the pop lexicon of most corporate musicals in favor of a sound that harkens back when it's working to Broadway's golden age and when it doesn't quite work to the pop operas of Andrew Lloyd Webber and the Les Mis team. The design and use of projection is stunning, often bringing gasps from the audience, particularly in a number on a train in Act One. Visually, this Anastasia is gorgeous. The plot, though, was paint by numbers, despite a book by renowned playwright Terence McNally. Edward Stoudenmire and Terry Kelly are standouts in secondary roles as a middle-aged count and countess, Lily Coogan as Anya, and Stephen Brower as the ambitious Dimitri are perfectly fine. Everyone is a pro. But there's no denying the staleness of the story and the lack of nuance in whatever vague political subtext underlies the show. The Bolsheviks are cold and humorless, and the old regime of fairy tale ruined by violence, with an occasional shout-out to actual history. But still, the lush score mitigates it a bit, and the opulence of the production, the sheer beauty of the design and costumes, makes Anastasia a show with its own, albeit quite limited, rewards. Anastasia plays at SHN's Golden Gate Theater through September 29th. For more information, you can go to shnsf.com. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.